Making a digital poster using PowerPoint 2007 is relatively easy um, and I'll go over the basic steps on how to do that. The steps are slightly different for PowerPoint 2003 uh, but uh, the functions are the same. If you don't have PowerPoint you can go to any of the computer labs on campus. They all have PowerPoint 2007 there for you to use. So you start off by opening up a PowerPoint uh, blank presentation and then I change the layout by clicking on layout over here to blank so then you have a, a blank slate to work with. Now we want to resize our poster so you click on design at the top and go to page setup and we're going to change our poster so then it's 48 inches wide or 4 feet wide and 38 6 inches high or 3 feet high and this is our poster. Now I lay out my basic skeleton. So I have a text box for a title. Oops. I'll make a poster using PowerPoint. Good enough. And let's center that. And the thing about a title is that it should be large. It should be the most dominant feature of your poster. So let's change the size. Let's uh, make it big and bold and no, let's make it even bigger than that. So maybe I'll change the font size to let's go 140. Bang. So nice and big, right? <coughs> and then uh, put your your name of whoever else worked on it, and your name should be smaller. Right? So at least half the size, if not more than half. So something like this is good. Right? So then that's the person who made the post. And then. <coughs> Uh, I like to lay out my basic skeleton. Right, so we'll start off with a text box here for introduction. And then a text box here for, let's say, epidemiology. A little bit smaller. And then another text box here for symptoms. I think you get the point, right? So I'm just going to go another text box here for this, another one for this, and for you guys, another one this. And this will probably, well, somewhere on here, you guys also need references, right? So maybe another text box here for references. And that's your basic layout. And then you fill in the blanks, right? So introduction. Diseases are bad. Something like that. Whatever types of thing. <coughs> Symptoms include uh, you know, runny nose, and you just fill in whatever it is the facts that you gather. Um, this is a little bit large. Probably you can make these uh, this text smaller, so the text doesn't have to be visible from all that far away. So something like this, maybe. I think like this is a good good size. Maybe you can go even a little bit smaller. But you want to try to avoid having way too much text. Uh, inserting pictures is relatively easy. Just go to insert and then picture. And then browse on your computer and you find yourself a nice picture. So let's see which one do I want to play. Let's put in I'm wasting too much time. Let's put in this. Okay, resize your picture to whatever you want, and whenever you have a picture, um, make sure that we a title it. So, figure one, and spam, and then some sort of description. Uh, let's see, classic spam, crowd in all supermarkets. And then somewhere over here, you would have blah, 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 figure one, blah, 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 blah. All right, so make sure everything is referenced, everything is there. Um, don't throw in extraneous pictures. You could have a little bit, kind of call that fluff, but make sure that uh, everything that you put on your poster has a purpose. Every picture, every word, everything should support your poster. And once you're done constructing your poster, take about uh, 20 to 30 seconds quickly scan over your poster and try to figure out if your topic is clear in 20 to 30 seconds you can't figure out what your topic is 
then there's something wrong with your poster. Uh, for some of the aesthetics, you can change the background color. So you just right click, click on format background. And right now it's on solid fill white, right? So that just means everything's going to be one solid color. You can change that to, uh, let's see, gray or yellow or whatever color you want. But make sure that whatever color you do choose, oh, don't choose this yellow. Uh, your text is uh, the opposite contrast, so something that sticks right out. Right? You want to make sure that whatever uh, the color of your text is, is easy to see. You can also have a picture if you want. Right? So let's see, let's find one of these pictures, or you can use one from your file. Let's use this one over here. Whatever it is that you want can be your, uh, your background, whatever you choose. But again, if you're going to do something like this, you have to make sure that your text is easily visible. Uh, you can also do a gradient fill where you have uh, the colors are uh, have some sort of gradient. So something like that, or let's see, some sort of radio. You can even change the direction of stuff. A whole bunch of presets here. I think you can also change your own colors if you want. Right, so just group around and and you know be creative. Try to fill. Uh, Oh yeah, you can also change the transparency. Right? So if you have, let's say, um, purple, you can make it a lighter purple by, you know, sliding it through. But you know, use your creativity. Use whatever it is that you like. Keep in mind that um, text is usually read left to right, top to bottom. Right. So if you if you decide to go up and down. Um, it's helpful to include numbers one, two, three, four, five, six. So then the reader knows which way to go. Or so I've seen ones where uh, everything starts on the outside and just kind of spirals in. Again, that's kind of a creative design. But if you're going to do something like that, you make sure it's pretty obvious that the reader knows which way they're supposed to read your poster. Right? But again, the most dominating feature should be your title. And uh, the point of your poster should be able to be seen very quickly. 20 seconds, someone should understand the point. Uh, one last thing I guess I want to say is you can zoom in and out of your poster. Right? So if you're working on your poster, uh, look at the whole poster to kind of get an overall view of it. And then you can use the slider bar in the bottom right here and then work closer. Right? So then now you can uh, fill in different text, other text. And then if you want to see what you've done, you can zoom back out to kind of get an overall look. Uh, just to end this one on a couple of uh, sample posters. So this is a poster I made some time ago. Uh, overall, um, I chose like this blue background. So you notice my text is white. It's a uh, very contrasting. I should have probably chosen a different color for my title. Uh, I don't like this light blue. I should have probably gone with white. But then, you know, that's what appealed to me at the time. Pictures, notice how they're large, nice and easy to see. A little bit too much text for my liking. I think I should have probably cut a little bit of text out. But overall, you can kind of understand what's going on, at least if you understand the development of Dictasty and Discordia. Here's a student submission. Uh, they tried to do something fancy here with this gradient, which is fine, but then some of this text is a little bit difficult to see. Also notice that these pictures are non-supported. There's no, no text, no anything. It's fluff. So what's the point of putting this in there if, it's, uh, if, it's not gonna, if they're not going to talk about it? Okay, so use your imagination, try to have fun with it, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing your submissions.